And among the senators that voted yes is Senator John McCain, who returned today to D.C. after being diagnosed last week with brain cancer. While Senator McCain was officially back to cast votes on the health reform bill and the defense budget, there was another reason behind his return. The veteran senator brought a forceful message to lawmakers on both sides of the aisle about the dysfunction that is gripping Washington. Cronkite News reporter Emma Locker was at the Capitol. Arizona Senator John McCain did not mince words for his fellow senators today. He's blaming Republicans and Democrats alike for refusing to work together and solve the nation's problems. He said it's time to stop listening to the bombastic loudmouths on the radio, television, and internet, and for senators to trust each other again. Let's return to regular order. We've been spinning our wheels on too many important issues because we keep trying to find a way to win without help from across the aisle. We're getting nothing done, my friends. We're getting nothing done. I have every intention of, re of returning here and giving many of you cause to regret all the nice things you said about me. <laughs> McCain left shortly after the address. He said he intends to go home and focus on his recovery. At the Capitol, Emma Lockhart, Cronkite News. And other politicians took to Twitter offering their support for the senator with President Trump and House Majority Leader Mitch McConnell thanking McCain for coming back to work. Fellow Arizona Senator Jeff Flake called McCain a valuable asset to both the Senate and the country. And Arizona Governor Doug Ducey says he's thrilled to see McCain fighting for their state. McCain will be in D.C. for a few days, where he hopes to manage floor debate on the Defense Authorization Act.